What is up guys and welcome to the South Coast. Today's video we're changing the oil in the Ram 2500 with the Femco oil drain system. Let's get after it. All right, guys, we are going to let that oil drain out. So the truck is warm. Uh, I'm doing this after getting home from work. It's not full operating temp. Um, I let it cool down a little bit before getting into this, but it is definitely warm. Uh, it's parked on a little bit of an incline. I got the cap off of the, the oil fill cap. It is removed so air can backfill, drain that oil out. While this oil is draining, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the fuel water separator, fuel filter swap out. I'm um, probably not gonna film that. May film that for another video. Uh, if you wanna see that, leave me a comment down below and click subscribe if you haven't already. But we're gonna let this continue to drain. We'll catch it back here in a second. All right guys, so we have been letting the oil drain for the amount of time that it's taken me to swap out the water fuel separator there in the back of the truck. So. Let's go ahead and get back under there, get the Femco oil drain tube disconnected, and uh, see what we got. Well guys, that's that's pretty simple. I'm, uh, I'm rather impressed with that Femco oil drain system. Um, there was a little bit of oil in that cap whenever I first took it off, so definitely need to make sure that cap is on there and tight at all times, um, just to keep any oil from seeping out, but it seemed to work pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my oil filter swapped. We'll get the oil put back into the truck just like normal, but. So far, liking the Femco oil drain system. So, let's get this oil filter pulled out of there, get the new one put in, top this bad boy off with some oil.
All right, guys, it is as easy as that. The Femco oil change system. I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. Got one on my wife's car also. I'm sure it won't be long before I need to change the oil on it. So we will give it another go then. But so far, I'm liking it. It's uh, definitely a little nicer than having to pull that plug out and have all the fluid rush out. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is putting like a quarter turn ball valve in this piece of tubing um, and then get one of my big jugs, my big oil jug set up to where I can just put it down in the top of it, screw it in, and then cycle open that quarter turn ball valve to get the oil to flow out. But anyway, we got the oil put back in. Um, I, still, I still have to change the under hood fuel filter on this truck, so probably not going to film that. We'll just go ahead and get that done, then we'll get the truck fired up. We'll check for oil leaks, um, check the oil level, all the normal stuff. But I think that's about it for today. Femco oil change system. I like it a lot. I'm going to keep using it. Um, I'm going to have links to the Femco oil change system as well as these oil filter tools. Um, definitely, definitely handy on these 6, 7 Cummins where the oil filters in a tight spot to get to you can't get to it from the bottom of the truck um, yep. that's down there now um, you can't get to the oil filter from the bottom of the truck so you got to pull it out from the side this little cap makes that so much nicer I was using like Ziploc bags I would drop the filter into a Ziploc bag try and seal it up and pull it out of there always ended up spilling oil out of the filter all over the place but with this plug, it is, uh, it's a lot nicer. If y'all want, I can make a video specifically on these two oil change tools, the, the little plug, as well as this oil filter wrench. Um, definitely, definitely recommend getting these. I'll put links to them in the description. Leave a comment down there if you want to see a video specifically on the use of those. It'll be a little while before we get to making that video just because so every 15,000 miles for the oil changes on these trucks. So, geez Louise, I'm making a mess out here. Anyway, I got to get this fuel filter swapped out. As always, I hope you all have a good one. We'll catch you next time down here on the South Coast.